Good afternoon, everybody. Brian Newbert here from uh, GoldenBlack.com here at the A Terminal in uh, Indianapolis International Airport. Just had one of those fun little college basketball moments where you walk past all the IU fans headed to Atlanta, headed south to get to the Toronto Gate where some Purdue fans are headed north for Purdue's game um, this weekend in Canada. Um, I don't know if you guys remember or not, but there was a while I was doing these things we called these GoldenBlack.com Purdue Basketball Dailies. Uh, and then we stopped doing them daily. We didn't even do them on a regular basis. And then we basically just stopped doing them altogether. There was a reason for that is I had some audibility, don't know if that's a word, challenges here uh, with this head cold I've been battling. Um, but what happened was this morning, I woke up and I had a long talk with my immune system. And it went sort of like Pedro Serrano's spiel to Joe Boo uh, in the movie Major League where I told it, if you don't step up and help me now, I'll do it myself. And uh, I think it responded favorably. So I feel pretty good today. Um, I'm not coughing. Uh, various fluids are not emanating from my head uh, 24 hours a day. So we're off to Toronto, incident free. Um, and back doing videos, apparently. Um, so Purdue plays Alabama. Uh, here, obviously, not here, but in Alabama, in, in Canada, and just kind of another uh, opportunity for Purdue to play against a really athletic, really physically gifted, and physically uh, well endowed, uh, don't take that the wrong way, uh, team that I think can really help insulate it uh, to whatever it might run into in March. Uh, you know, Purdue has been pretty good uh, against pressure. I wrote a story last night about how Purdue's been pretty good against backcourt trapping, pressing, you know, whatever else it might be. I looked up their metrics and my story kind of like fell apart because their metrics aren't as good as what watching the games would have told you they were. Their turnover percentage um, was not as minuscule as I thought it would be. Their, 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 their points per possession weren't as robust as I thought they would be. Um, maybe there was some recency bias based off the Iowa game. I don't know. Perhaps the roughness around the edges of the Sanford game. Remember, Sanford was still pressing in the second half of a blowout. You know, things like that. Perhaps that warped the numbers a little bit. But Purdue's been really good against backcourt pressure, whether that's true pressing, run and jump stuff, trapping, whatever it might be. Uh, Purdue's been pretty good against, and I would imagine this will be Another test in that regard, uh, SEC opponent number three, if you count the Arkansas game, and I think that's that's certainly relevant experience here. Um, and I don't know if this is like true press stuff as much as it is just them playing five on five, man to man, full court, you know, kind of stuff like that, and challenging everything. But Purdue's getting, going to get another style of play test here, um, which will be worthwhile. They've they've really done a good job, um, either the way the schedule has been crafted or the way it's unfolded in terms of exposing themselves to lots of different types of basketball experiences and um, yeah, I think this game was scheduled not only to get Zach Eady home, not only to let Zach Eady and Will Berg do some NIL stuff off U.S. soil, but because Alabama is sort of one of those uh, high pressure defensive teams that um, you know you always might run into uh, in the Sweet 16 or the or the Elite Eight or something like that. So even the second round, um, but that's a long way down the road. Um, just have to take every day as it comes, and uh, you know that's what Purdue's doing here. So I'm going to board my flight to Toronto here in a little bit. I will have full coverage from Canada uh, tomorrow from the Purdue Alabama game. If you haven't already. Go to goldenblack.com uh, and read Mike Carmen's uh, Q&A with Zach Eady's mother, Julia. It is really, really good. Really good. And uh, I can't recommend it highly enough. It's long, but it's points per possession in terms of its, its interesting quotient versus its length is astronomical. It is, I, I don't think there, there's anything dull in there. It, it is all really, really good, and I cannot recommend it highly enough. So... Be sure to golden, go to goldenblack.com and check that out and stay with our site tomorrow for uh, everything you might want to know um, from Purdue's game against Alabama in uh, Toronto. So thanks, everybody.